Hi everybody, welcome to a demonstration of the warm-up and the new piece that we'll be looking at. The class members I have off to the side here that you can't see, they don't know what's coming up. They're going to have lots of fun, they don't know it yet, but they are. Um, and we're going to start off with a quick warm-up. So, I've got my trombone here. Our trombone players are going to use the note C for this, full stretch, sixth position. Our trumpet players are going to use the note D, one and three. I'm going to play them a very simple rhythm, they have to play it back. So, D for trumpet. C for trombone, uh, here's my first rhythm, and clapping if you don't have an instrument today. One and two, me first. <laughs> I'm going to blow the next pattern onto my hand using my tongue to go t t t. You have to copy it back and listen to see if your tongue is going t or if you're getting like a s s s noise, which we don't want. Ready? Here's mine. It's as if I'm saying two. Good. Good. Make sure you're breathing deep. Good, make sure you're using the tip of your tongue for a t, because if you're getting ch, 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 that means it's kind of the sides of your tongue. Uh, last one. Good listening. I heard a, a um, s, s in there and then you fixed it. Good job. On your instrument, same note, same rhythm. I'll go first. Still think about tip of the tongue. rhythm back to me. Uh, here's my tempo. I'm going to say it using tars and tts, you have to say it back. Uh, it goes like this. Ta 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 ti 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 ta. Good. Ta 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 ti ti ti. Good. How about this? Good. How about this? I'll go first. Good, nice tonguing. And on my C note for trombone, D for trumpet, think about lips back against your teeth in an M shape. But on the trumpet now, as a D, I'll go first, you play it back. pretty good. What if I change some of the notes? Um, our trombone player is going to have an advantage here. If you've been clapping, can you please swap to air trombone? So think about what positions they'd be. Here's the new pattern. Still starting on D trumpets. That is our starting note. See if you can work this one out. Ready? Same rhythm. I'm going to change notes though. Pause. One of our trumpeters isn't ready. Let's go again, starts on D, see if you can work out what I did. I'll go first. Go. Nice, I like what you went to there. What note was that? Uh, D. Good, so we started on C for trombone, we went up to a D that time. And trumpets, you were starting on D. What did it change to? I went to C. Oh, down. You sure it went down? Ta, ta, ta. Yeah, I think up to E would work better for that. Can we try that together, please? Going from C to D for trombone, going D up to E, and keeping our M shape. Uh, all together, one, two, same again. Yes, well done for not letting it drop down. Good. Um, one last one, because I'm awful. What about this speed? Oh, what about this pattern? Think about what I did. Try and guess what I did. Ta 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 ti 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 ta. Good luck. Maybe. One, two, together. Ooh, I like it, but I'm not sure we're agreeing on the last note. What did you go for? 
four on that last one? Well, I don't know why, but I halfway went to A, but now I'm going to go to B and I did the second half. Ah. Um, what do you reckon your highest note might have been there? Ta, 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 ta. F, good. First valve F, the lower sounding one, or second valve F sharp? I think that's a great option. So trumpets, you would have had D, D, E, E, F, 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 which is second valve F sharp. And for trombone, we had? B flat? No, B F flat. F, F. F maybe? C, C, D, D, F, 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 F. No, that's like in Baby Shark. You no, don't, we, e. e, good. Second position, E. e. Can I hear that uh, one more time? I'll play it. You guys play it back. D's, E's, and F sharps for trumpets with ten slips. And C's, D's, and E's for trombone. Here it is. Here is your new pattern. It is the same rhythm, but different kind of order of pitch, different order of the notes. Trumpets are going to go D, D, E, E, F, F, E, D. And that last one's long. And trombone players are going to play, uh, what would we have? We'd have C, C, D, D, E, E, D, C. Is this from one of our songs? Uh, it's not one we've done yet, but it might be useful in about two minutes' time. Um, there's your pattern. Think about how it's going to go. I will get you to swap back to clapping, please, just to help us out. Or even better, put, clap, put, clap, put, clap, put, clap. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Beautiful. That is your job. I'm deliberately not using names. I do know their names, but I'm deliberately not using them for the purposes of the video. There's your pattern. Ta, ta, ta. Right, here we go, all together. Can you please try and play me that pattern? You're reading purple. One, a two, and a one, two, together. <laughs> Good, let's do it twice in a row. Here we go. Trumpets starting on D, E, you can't even see me. D, E, and F sharp, and trombones C, D, and E in second. Yes? Um, is, are the E's fast, or are they slow? Well, think about how we sang it. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. These four notes are going to be fast, because they were ti, ti's. Here we go. Play me that whole pattern with a repeat. Good posture. Coming in, shoulders back. Ready, one, two, together. Pause. What if we got rid of the sharp sign for trumpeters? And what if we put a flat sign on those E's? Can we hear how this sounds? I think it's going to, in fact, I'm not going to tell you what I think is going to happen. Let's see how it sounds different. That's meant to be a flat. Here we go. Ready? Play it for me this time with the repeat. One, two, ready. Ooh, sounds, sounds a bit sadder or something. Um, which version do you like better? The original higher sounding one or the second one? The original. Original maybe? Okay. Um, what I'd like... Kind of like the second one. Well, luckily for you, at the end of your moving on up pack, and I'm going to wave this across to the video, the very last item is a tune called Blues Rock Fire, and it uses both versions of what we just did. So if you are looking in the video here, you want to find the last thing in the pack. It's called Performance Piece Blues Rock Fire. And the most challenging thing about this is that it's written as a score. And a score is the fancy name for when you have multiple parts for different instruments all on the one piece of paper. So in this case, uh, you can see on the board, I've got four lines. Um, real life students, hello. Um, you guys can see here, I've written four different color-coded lines, and then underneath I've written the same thing again. 
That is the equivalent of what you have on this page, at the top of your page. Once you eventually find a sheet, if you can't find a sheet, you could read on that copy. Um, at the top of the page, your very first line will either say trumpet or low brass. Then underneath it, what I've done is read on the board, yours will say trumpet 2 or low brass 2. And then your third line of music that I've done in green on the board, yours will say bass. That would be for a low instrument, like a bass guitar or a tuba. And the fourth line says drums. What instrument would play the drums line? The drum. The drum kit, nice. So up on the board, I've done that one in black. The only thing you need to learn today is that if, if you're playing, let's say we're all playing the trumpet two or the low brass two part at the start. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. Then does it again. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta. You get to the end of your first red line, which for you is trumpet two or low brass two. Do not jump down to the bass line, number three. You have to skip to the next number two line. So, please take your trusty pencil. And what you're going to do, I want you to circle trumpet two or low brass two. If you haven't got a trusty pencil, I might have a spare for you. We have a spare pencil here, the world's smallest pencil. And I would like you to circle where it says trumpet two. Or, if you're reading the trombone and baritone music like mine, it'll say low brass two, right about there. You're going to circle that. And then, once you've done that, I want you to jump down to the next set of four lines of music. You need one as well? Here you go. And on the next four lines of music, called a system, um, can you please put a star next to the second line of that set of four? It's as if you've gone, what I've done up here, you've played the entire red line, and then you have to jump down to the next red line. Does that make sense? You skip the bass and the drums, and you find your next line. And then at the bottom of the page, you have another block of four lines of music. Find the second row of that, and put a star next to it. Uh, good, I'm going to do this trumpet copy here, and then I'll show on the video what it looks like. So, yep, beautiful, trumpet two, trumpet two. Um, this student has done it perfectly. Instead of stars, they've put a number two next to that trumpet two line, and they've put a number two next to that trumpet two line. Awesome! Now, while the last couple of students finish that off, I'm going to demonstrate the piece. Uh, on here, though, I'm going to musiclessonswithmrtaylor.com. I'm going to the resources page, and then I'll click on first year players, because that's where all your stuff is. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to term four. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Underneath the videos of me demonstrating this piece, it says fire backing track with no brass. That means we're not going to be able to hear our parts being played in the recording, but that's okay because I'm about to demonstrate it. Okay, so follow along on your music. You'll hear four bars of the band playing. In this case, it's from a little speaker over here. And then I'm going to play all three of your lines of music without stopping. So all you need to do is follow along with your finger, you're going to go. Second line, when you get to the end of line two, skip your finger down to the next second line. And then there's one more at the bottom of the page. Here we go, I click download file. And we hear music. Two. Three. Listening. Next line. So that is how you read a score. If you're reading the second line of the four, you always read second line. If you were playing, I know it seems terrifying, if you were playing top line, you would always play top line. If you were playing the drum part, you get the idea. Make sense? Yeah. All right, well, play me the first line of the song. It is literally the thing we warmed up with. The, the, well, you have a look. Are there sharps or hashtags at the start of your song? 
If you've got hashtags at the start of your piece, then yes, most of your Fs are going to be second valve F sharps. Yeah? Okay, can I please hear line one slower than the recording? It's pretty much the same, but it forces you to swap to first valve F sometimes. Here we go, top line of the music, all of your Fs are sharps for trumpet, all of our E's are in second. Let's go slowly. You know where we are? Trumpet two. Your first note should be a D. D, D, E, E. Here we go. Let's rinse up. Uh, one, two, top line. <laughs> line of music, please jump down to the next one that you put a star next to. This is your next trumpet two line or your next low brass two line and it's almost the same but now you've got little natural signs. If you've never seen a natural sign before, people in the video, oh. this lightning bolt thing, that's a natural sign and it means don't do a sharp or flat. For our trombones it's easy, we're just adding in flats, we're really good at E flats, third position. Um, but trumpet, as you may not have seen the natural sign before, that in front of an F note means use first valve F. So if you want to write a number one under those Fs that have that in front of them, do that. Okay, here we go. I'll just give people a moment to write that in. So any trumpeters with Fs with a natural sign, you're going to use first valve. Here we go. This should be the sadder sounding version. One, two, second line. <laughs> changes back to sharps or for us back to E naturals on trombone. Here we go, changing back. Ready. Nice, jump down to your final line on the page, make sure you're looking at the second of the four. And trumpets, you've got four of the same notes in a row to start. What is it? Four E's in a row for trumpet, then you're up to F natural. F F F F at the bottom of the page. Yeah, you've definitely got a natural there. And the weird thing, once again, for people in the video, the weird thing is that when you have a natural sign in front of one of your Fs, any Fs that come immediately after it get infected by it as well. So all of those Fs, E, 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 F, 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 all of those are first valve Fs. All of ours are E flats at the end of the line. Here we go, last line of the page. Ta, 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 ta. One and two for trumpets, fourth position. Oh, one, two, tense lips. Pause, have a look at how it finishes. It's the same as the beginning. One, two, ready. Lovely. Whole page at that slow speed. And then, for my entertainment, we'll try it with the rock band, and we'll see if we can do it at their speed. I do not expect you to succeed. And I will laugh. And laugh and laugh. It'll be great. Fun times, laughing at students. That's how to be a good teacher, isn't it? Laugh at the students all the time. All right, here we go. So, trumpeters, you are starting with the trumpet two line, going straight to the next trumpet two line, finishing with the last trumpet two line. Trombones are all good. Here we go, clapping the rhythm, playing, playing, playing. Yes. Well, the first line, is it E, is it e natural? Yes, yes, because there are no flats at the start. So, because we don't have any flats, in the trombone music, there are no flat signs at the start of the song. That means that unless it says otherwise, all of our E's will be in second position. We can do it. Good luck. I don't care if you guys make mistakes. I'm going to try and get it 100% correct. Whole page from the start. Think about how your lips are going to feel back against your teeth. One. Two whole page. Next line. Last line. just got to the end of page one, the end of your last line. Whew. All right.
Alrighty, so I'm gonna, um, you're welcome to play along with me if you want. We're gonna play through that whole first page. If you're freaking out because you've never had to read such complex music before, that's fine, no stress. Just follow along with your finger or clap rhythms or something. Can we play with the band? Yeah, here we go, full speed with the band. I, do, yeah. I don't care if you make mistakes. Uh, the band are gonna play for four bars and then we get to join in. So don't start playing your first notes Can yet. Can we play the second line as well? Uh, line one, line two, line three. Yeah, you're gonna play all three lines of music. No, but like the second page. Can we play the nah, second page? we're gonna stop at the end of page one. But I know how to play the second one. Oh, wow. Well, uh, so I look forward to hearing it next week. Oh. Here we go. Second line, second line, second line, whole first page. Let's do it. Band, start us off. Two. skills are actually really strong and you're not going to see anything more complicated than this probably even next year you won't normally have music that shows you all of the parts that the band are playing in this case you can see exactly what the drummer's doing you can see exactly what the bass guitar player is doing because it's on your sheet but you only need to concentrate on whichever line you started on trumpet two or trumpet yeah, one exactly that was really easy to... oh. why are the bass like, no, it's like way smaller. Yeah. Oh, that's because they're less important, so I didn't want to take up too much space with them. Because uh, they don't really matter to us. <laughs> All right, so can you please write down in your journal, Blues Rock Fire, that's focus on page really one fun. only. If you reckon you can work out page two by yourself, absolutely go for it. But our first dot point, um, I'll put these up on the board so that people watching the video can keep track of what they would be doing. Our first stop point for Blues Rock Fire is focus on page one only. That was actually really, really fun. Oh, good. I'm happy to hear it. Not that we ever have fun in music class, of course, but... So, uh, Blues Rock Fire was the name of that piece. People in the video, blues rock is what you get when you combine elements of blues music, which is kind of quite jazzy, and rock music. So the drums in that were in a rock music style, but the guitars were kind of doing some jazzier stuff. So it's called blues rock. Blues rock fire is the name of that piece. Dot point, first dot point is focus on page one only. Focus on page one only. Our second dot point. Uh, for this week, we're only interested in the trumpet two part and the low brass two. We're not interested in part one. If you really want to test yourself, you can try reading through part one. It's literally just two steps higher than what we did then. Um, but page one only, trumpet two or low brass two. That's the line you should be reading. Trumpet two or low brass two. Do not try and play the bass guitar part or the drums unless you happen to know how to play those instruments. And final dot point. When we were learning it, did we try and play the whole thing straight away? No. no. And did we try and go at the full band speed straight away? No. No. Practicing. So, practice in small chunks and start slow. Practice in small chunks and start slow. If there's one bit that's throwing you off, practice that bit on its own. Practice in small chunks and start slow. Awesome. I'm going to stop the video there. That's plenty for the people that are away at the other schools to get on with. Um, I hope they enjoyed their book week assembly. 